Hi, my name is Tara Alvarez. I'm a professor in biomedical engineering here at NJIT, and I'm the director of the Vision and Neural Engineering Laboratory, as well as the chief scientific officer for Ocular Motor Technologies. If you use vision therapy, you can actually rehabilitate the visual system. So one of the binocular dysfunctions that we are specializing in is called convergence insufficiency, which is present in about 5% of the population, which is roughly 24 million people. The good news is vision therapy works very well in that it's effective in about 73% meaning it can reduce vision symptoms long term. At the Vision and Neuroengineering Laboratory, we're able to do a small polish study with the video game that we have developed. We had nine people and all nine of them showed clinical improvement. It's satisfying to know what we're doing is making a difference. One of the things that the eye movement recordings does is it shows us that people with convergence insufficiency actually do very slow eye movements. So to go from a target at far to at near could take them two seconds as opposed to somebody with normal binocular vision that can do that same type of movement in a half a second. What our equipment does is it can assess that the therapy is working properly in that people are able to do their eye movements more accurately and more precisely, which leads to a long-term reduction in patient symptoms. On the basis, all we do is make a person move their eyes. And based on that, we can tell a person a whole slew of different things based on how they move it and how we want them to move it. We can assess patients' visual abilities at baseline and then have them go and do the therapy in the comfort of their own home and then have them come back to the lab and assess their um, post-therapy outcomes. Moving into VentureLink was a very, very big step for us. It's something that we've been working toward for the past roughly two years. It's the culmination of a lot of hard work from all of our co-founders and from a, a network of supporters throughout NJIT. What venture capitalist funding, specifically this pre-seed um, grant, is going to allow us to do is really take our research and translate it into the commercial space so that it can be available to patients to rehabilitate their visual systems. Not everyone has to become a doctor to help people, as it turns out. What we're able to do, hopefully, with this particular therapeutic game that we're developing is help a group of people that is 5% of the general population of the United States. I get to go to work, stick on a headset, and have a good time, because that's my job. I work in video games. We can go anywhere. We can help people with something that I get to have fun with on a daily basis. 